everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about an Entertainment Weekly article about Raya and the Last Dragon. We got a ton of new information so I'm going to break it down. The first new bit of information is the names of the five lands of Kumandra. They are the land of heart, talon, fang, spine and tail. As we saw already in the teaser trailer, each of these five lands will have its own distinctive flair, colour schemes, fabrics and hairstyles. I believe that these lands are named after the different parts of the dragon, with Talon translating to Claw. Secondly, we got some additional information about the land of Talon. Along with the article, Entertainment Weekly released an image of Raya in the middle of a really cool action scene in the floating market of Talon. The article stated that this land was inspired by the Mekong region of Southeast Asia, where there are a lot of floating markets. Although not explicitly stated, I think that Boon is from this tribe and thus their colour is yellow. The article said that Boon is the film's Han Solo as he provides the transportation, a boat called the Shrimporium, which is a floating sort of restaurant. Since Talon is a floating market, it makes sense that Boon, who owns the boat, comes from this tribe. Thirdly, we found out that Raya and Tuk Tuk are from the Heartland. This makes a lot of sense as I don't see a Disney princess coming from the Fangland. Fourthly, we found out that Tong the formidable giant is from the Spineland and is a battle hardened kind of guy. So therefore we can conclude that the Spineland's colour is grey. Fifthly, we got a new picture of Raya with Noi. Noi was described as a mischievous con baby who runs a little con game in town with fantasy creatures called Omnis. And in case anyone is interested, merchandise has revealed that their names are Dylan, Pan and Uka. Honestly, I am not a toddler person like at all and even I have to admit that Noi looked really cute in that picture. Sixthly, they shared some more details about the personality of Sisu the dragon. They stated that she is an interesting character and it's a tightrope to walk on because she has to be fun but also has to have this wisdom and huge heart of a Disney character. So she won't just be a funny sidekick, she'll also have the wisdom of a Yoda-like character. Seventhly, the filmmakers revealed that they are hard at work on the next trailer which will further showcase the film's humour and action. This means that we are probably going to get a new trailer this month and obviously I will be reacting to it and breaking it down. Finally, the filmmakers said that they've been energised by the fans whose responses and reaction videos had them in tears. So this means that the people working at Disney Animation may have seen my videos. I cannot get over that, that is so cool. <laughs> So Disney animators, if you are watching this right now, I just want to say that I love you and keep up the great work. Also, if you want to send me a Raya press screener, that would be amazing. I've loved everything that I've seen so far, so it's probably going to be an amazing review. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Please like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.